crispy. All right, so we're back with another uh, review for another Walgreens Wave 11. Uh, this is an Avengers set. There's It's for Panther's Quest, I guess. Must be a storyline on the animated show. Now that I have Disney+, Plus, I'm, I keep thinking about maybe checking out uh, some of those Avengers episodes. Maybe uh, Google what the top five are or, uh, you know, storylines. Actually, if any of you guys have seen the show... You got any good, um, you know, suggestions? Usually the closer it is based on a comic, the more I'll probably like it. But uh, any suggestions for Avengers Assembled to sit down and watch uh, a storyline, a crossover, you know, a, a five-part, uh, you know, episode or something, uh, let me know. Just put something in the comments. But I don't know anything about it. I've only seen like an episode and a half, maybe two episodes. Uh, it's it's been a long time. It was like the first season. I just thought this is not for me. It's it's not Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Uh, Disney Plus does have Earth's Mightiest Heroes. That only ran for two seasons. That uh, is basically the Justice League of uh, or the yeah it's Justice League of the Avengers cartoons. I mean it's uh, just as good as the Bruce Tim universe. It reminds me of the Bruce Tim universe. Uh, just done just as well for the Justice League. I think it was season. Two or Justice League Unlimited, where they had like these season long uh, runs of stuff, and just it, it all built up to something. There's all these connections, and really hit the classic episodes, uh, which are my thing. Um, you know, a lot better than Avengers uh, Assemble for as, as far as I know. I guess I haven't watched any of the episodes. I, I just the tone of it's not right for me, it's too kitty or something, or the other one's serious, like the Bruce Tim universe. Anyway, now that I rambled on uh, about that for a while, uh, back to this two pack, we have uh, yet another, another Black Panther. Uh, this is probably about the thirty seventh in the last two three years. Uh, my only, you know, not I don't have any complaints about the design. He looks cool. He looks sharp. But uh, that movie version of Black Panther, and this is obviously the animated one, but it's based off the movie one. Um, <laughs> we've just had that version so many times. I would like a good Jack Kirby original Black Panther costume. Uh, I have the original one that came out, a uh, black one, uh, that came with Storm around wave 30, like way back, like 10 years ago. And, uh, the eyes are all mismatched and he's just out of date. Uh, so, and now everything is all about the movie design. So a little disappointing, uh, that that's all we ever get. But uh, whatever, this one looks sharp. I, I think this one actually looks pretty cool for for just complaining about it for 30 seconds. Um, but the claws look silver. Anyways, he comes with Shuri. Uh, second time we've gotten Shuri. We actually have a movie ver version of Shuri. But uh, I really like this design. Uh, that would look great on Storm if you put her in like a purple dress or something like that and kept that top. I think I might just do that. I might just have to do a kit bash of uh rogue and and her in civilian clothes or something like that maybe you will even do that this episode who knows but uh yeah they look good i want an army build Sh shuri too i uh, i think just for another version of now uh, what are the the uh, uh dang it i'm having brain fart whatever his guards are i thought you could take one of those and kit bash some different looking guards that are all purple themed or something like that uh, to make another version of the, I keep on wanting to say Shuri, but that's obviously her name. Uh, it starts with an M, maybe. Anyways, let's go back. Let, let's take them out of the tray and get a closer look at them. Yeah, so that Black Panther is pretty sharp. Actually, like I said, I just complained about it a bunch of times. About the line, it's the lines that uh, are signature from you know the the movies and stuff around his face. Around his chest. This might be my favorite Black Panther we've ever got. Um, just the more I look at him, um, it's a little bit more simplistic, the lines on him and stuff. Uh, it's a lot sharper. His mask, too, seems like there's less lines than normal. I mean, it looks almost like not so much that there's lines there, but his, his face uh, is more 3D or something, and his cheekbones, it helps make it look like it'd be protruding in the, you know, the front of that mask. And then the big feature on this figure, too, is those claws. Uh, you just look at those those silver claws. 
Yeah, this might be the first figure. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I can't think offhand, but I'm pretty sure this is a figure, first figure that we've had painted claws on, which is just awesome. So, um, and then there's Shuri. Again, this would be a great uh, storm or just another good army builder for the Dormelage. Did I say Dormelage yet? I thought about it. Uh, I went to Google it and pushed, put in Panther guards and a football team came up and then I remembered <laughs> Dormelage is the name of the guards. But uh, you could do some guard variants and stuff uh, with this figure too. I don't know how easy she'll be to, to uh, army build because there really aren't... Um, you know, Walgreens, a lot of the time it's really hard to find some, um, you know, figures and stuff. So she might be difficult to army build. I mean, I'd be happy with four of her. That's usually what I go for. Four. I've, I've kind of bumped it up to six uh, army builders per figure that you can army build lately. But um, yeah, she has, she's got a cool look to her. I, I'm definitely, I think I'm going to do some civilian shots with Storm uh, in with that torso at least. Probably did. Probably just a torso. I might put a dress on it or something. So, anyhow, uh, I got a little setup in back. I'm actually pretty proud of this setup. I haven't tried taking a shot with it yet, but uh, I got it all built and it looks really cool. So, let's go to that. So, this is where I left it at. Um, yeah, so it's more, you know, do we get the whole thing in or what? how do we do this? That's kind of what I'm figuring out right now. I wish that walkway for for the two of them was a little bit smaller. Because, see, I always try to uh, center my figures. And, you know, if I center my figures, this shot is going to be way too big. You know, if I if I put a box around these two right now to try to get the whole thing in there, I mean they're just either going to be tiny or because that piece this this long uh, piece of granite, this piece of granite I found uh, out on a hike one day, just like uh, you know if I if I crop this down, it's just going to be way too big. Those two are going to be too tiny. I can't get the waterfall underneath there. Well, basically, what I would have to do, God, that might just work. I think what I'm going to end up doing, I got to dig out my door Balaji and maybe get a rock down here on the bottom. Like, say, we'll say right here. And then maybe put some standing there and then do some on the left hand side. And maybe even behind the two of them, maybe behind Panther. Just have two of them standing guard and really get a full picture. Because right now, I want to do a picture of these two. Just the two of them. And this works. You know, we got this river, but one problem is, you know, where does that, you know, where does this water go in this picture? Is it just a lake or, I mean, it's flowing like a, a you know, like a stream. God, I wonder if I could take a shot from this angle right here. You know, I yeah, this is the angle I'm going to go with. Just because I really get that waterfall in, I definitely need to add some trees to this, some more, some more uh, you know, vegetation uh, behind Black Panther along with some Dormelage. And then on e maybe the bottom rock on the right. And then frame it up like this and take a picture. And then I'll just have this full, you know, Wakanda nature shot. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm going to go to, uh, I got to get some stuff going here. So yeah, here we are. Um, I really had a hard time justifying putting this whole setup in there with, um, you know, these care, all these characters. Like if I did this shot, um, you know, I think it would just be too much. Uh, the, the characters would be small. Maybe I will do some shots, but from this angle, but uh, I just don't feel good about uh, how the shot looks. Maybe if I move up the water. Oh man, I'm talking myself into uh, moving things around a little bit here. Crap. Um, <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to try a few other things. I did a different angle that uh, I'll throw at the end just to show you where I decided to stop on this one. Um, it's such a rad setup. It's just a bunch of rocks. You know, you guys who don't have dios, man, nothing beats a bunch of rocks. Like, I use rocks just so much randomly throughout my pictures, and they work well. So, um, But, uh, yeah, you know, I'll show you that other shot that I did before from a different angle, but right now we're going to move. Uh, some figures around and I might be able to f make this work the way I want it to work. Uh, give me a minute. Okay. So this is the final shot right here. This, uh, I got them set up. I got the Dora Milaje kind of surrounding each side of them. Uh, the ones on the right are actually kind of matching. The ones on the left are matching. I always meant to mix those up. I thought I mixed those up. I thought I changed them, uh, changed them up a little bit, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, anyways, um, that's basically, yeah, uh, Shuri and Black Panther and, and, um, uh, T'Challa training together, um, just kind of on this rock, rocky formation. Uh, yeah, this turned out very cool. Uh, I really like, uh, how this turned out, especially with the waterfall in the background. Um, I definitely didn't have, this originally was going to be a shot of Black Panther and Claw, fighting with Shuri in the background or something and then it just happened to evolve into what you see uh, in front of you and that happens quite a bit I will say out of all my uh, all my projects I've done this is probably uh, the one or all these videos I've done this is this video I've actually gone into quite a bit of detail in my thought process I knew that I wanted this bridge this rock bridge to come across I had that rock that I uh, found at a quarry and um, I knew I wanted a waterfall going underneath it. Um, and then, like I said, as originally I envisioned, uh, Claw and Back Black Panther going at it with Shuri in the background. But, you know, it, it, this, this video is about those two. So uh, then it was a training video, and then I couldn't justify the rest of the background. And, yeah, you were, you were, you've been here for the, the implementation of the, uh, the Dora Milaje and stuff. So that's basically what this shot is. Uh, and I'm going to have to come up with another one. I think I'm going to do some with Panther. Um, see what I can come up with there. Uh, let's see what happens next. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is what I came up with. Uh, team up Captain America uh, Black Panther shot. Um, I really enjoy whenever these two are fighting side by side. I really look at them as equals uh, pretty much. Um, you know, they're both very noble. They're very, they're, uh, very ethical. Um, you know, they're, they, they, uh, you know, physically they're pretty much the same. Um, Captain America is the best of, you know, America. Black Panther is the best of, you know, uh, of, of Wakanda, probably Africa. Uh, um, you know, they just, they both represent kind of nobility, um, and out of all the superheroes, these two are closest to the common man, uh, you know, that are still kind of superheroes and stuff. But, uh, you know, I think it's mostly the air of, of nobility and, and just being ethically uh, very, um, what would you call of virtuous, actual virtue, not fake virtue. You know, they're actually virtuous people. Uh, they follow through, uh, and they're kind people, you know, at the same time. So I always, I just, there's something about Black Panther and Captain America fighting on the same team that, uh, I just always loved these two whenever they team up. I mean, that was a big thing in Infinity War, you know, there, there's a lot of cool parts to that movie, but when those two ran ahead of the crowd at the Battle of Wakanda, uh, that just, you know, uh, basically, you know, goosebumps and shivers up my spine just seeing those two go, you know, go at it and be the the, the guys in the front line, the first, the, always the first on the front line. So anyways, um, yeah, and this is just a, a team up. I got them both kind of looking away from these guys, looking up in the air as if they're surrounded by Hydra. You know, it's not like they're just behind them, but uh, like all around them. And these two are ready uh, to take them on. And, and I'll probably caption it with something like, um, you know, this is seems a little unfair, and uh, for Hydra, not for these two, you know, have Black Panther seem uh, say something that seems rather unfair for them. So, um, yeah, it uh, fun little shot, uh, team up with these two. Uh, it's something I've never done before, I don't think, and I'm glad I did it now. So, anyways, that is it for this Black Panther uh, Shuri review of the Walgreens animated wave, uh, Panther's Quest. Um, yeah, fun set, uh, definitely probably up there, uh, if not my favorite Black Panther suit, 
Uh, and you know, this, this Captain America is from that wave too. Uh, but, uh, anyways, thank you guys for viewing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, go to the description of this video and, uh, check out my Instagram and Facebook pages for, uh, where all my mini mate pictures can be found. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll see you guys at the next video. Bye now.